Hello everyone, welcome again to another amazing episode of our Python tutorial series. Uh, in today's episode, we would be looking at how to convert a PDF to Word document so simply. All right. Now, I mean, I believe many a time we all find ourselves wanting where we have a PDF document, we want to um, probably make some changes to it and you just don't know what to do. All right. And the first option is to either go online and then, <clears throat> sorry, either go online and then try to convert it. And, you know, now virtually almost everybody is working for money so some of the portals you would have to subscribe or you know sort of register pay some amount before you can engage the 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 services all right and in some options to even with the free ones you wouldn't always want to be going online because of you know internet challenges and all that but then python makes it quite easy so with the python package which is a pdf to docs you can have it installed once and then whenever you need to convert your file you can always make use of it now i'll be working from this directory which is within this um, folder all right so i'm going to delete this word document okay okay i think i have it open so let me close it yeah and then i'm going to delete the word document and then start the procedure all right so now in here we are we have only pdfs and then then of course we can list out the path okay so i'm on this um, directory that's material data um, that's exactly what we have here material data and then in the directory files we have these files so i can list out the contents of the files and then we clearly see we have the same PDFs all right so that's what we'll be working with now the first thing to do is to pip install the PDF to docs if you don't already have it you are installing the PDF to docs package now what this is to do is supposed to um, connect with the PyPy that's a PYPI.org interface online and then gets the repository um, it gets the um, package downloaded onto your PC and then it installs on your PC and this is just a one-time action okay and then once you are done with that you now come to import the PDF to docs package whenever you want to um, convert your PDF to Word document so in this case I type in here from PDF to docs I import the function converter right and then we can run this and that's where we have the converter function now imported from the PDF to docs and so we now wrap the converter function over the file we are converting. In this case, I'm going into the directory files and then I pick the PDF file sample one.pdf, which contains text and then images. All right, and I wrap that on the converter and then assign it a variable C, it can be any variable. And then once I'm done, this wrapped um, PDF file, I pick it up and then I convert. All right, and then when I convert, I indicate the destination file. So in this case, I'm converting this to sample1.docs, which is the Word document. And when I'm done, I close the wrapper. That's the C, and that's all. And so we run this, and then it starts opening the document, which is the PDF. It starts analyzing it, and then from there, when it's done, it would convert the PDF document to the Word document. Okay. All right, so in just a short while, we would get it running. Okay, so it started. And that's it, and there you have it. Okay, so now the converter is closed. That means the process is complete. Okay, so we can go into our directory files, and now we see a Word document called sample1.docs, okay, which we get to open and then it opens up just as the PDF first let's open the PDF and confirm so we open sample one the PDF and you can see clearly what the sample one dot PDF contains contains um, a PDF it's a PDF file containing some text and then some geographical maps or images yeah exactly and so we also look into the word document that has been converted and then now we have the very same thing the images intact and this looks very good okay 
and of course if you want to do any changes you can then effect your changes directly from here and that's it gives you more flexibility all right okay so that's all by way of what we have for today um if you are new here don't forget to subscribe be part of the family let's grow together and then if you have any questions any comments leave them in the comment section the team would address it um don't forget to like the video to um also share within your network and also hit that notification bell so that if there's any new one you'd always get prompted first and get to try it out okay do have a wonderful day and then wish you all the best bye bye